Okay guys, so today, uh, restring day, we have a Babbitt's guitar, USA, and I know some of you guys might not have ever seen one of these. So here it is, and it's uh, a very unique sort of string thing here. They call it like a spider design. The strings come in here, come underneath this piece, over the top of the bridge. Um, I think it's so that tension is down on the bridge instead of lifting this up. But I have to put strings on this thing, so let's put it on the bench and wish me some luck on this one. Okay, here we go. This video is brought to you by Swiss Picks. It's not just a pick, it's a science. Available at Zim's Guitars or at www.swisspicks.com. Yeah, so this is a weird one. Now it's missing its high E string. Hopefully it just comes through the back right here. It does have electronics in it. It is a USA made guitar. Look at that, it's got like a micro tilt adjustment on the back. Uh, looks like uh, nice looking Grover tuners on there. Again, it's a Babbitt's guitar. I'm going to take my notch straight edge and we'll take a look and see if the neck is straight on this one. And I'm going to put my scale on here, long, uh, long scale. And it's got a little relief in the neck. And to me, the string height, it feels high, so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and take the truss rod off, the truss rod cover, and I'm gonna snug this truss rod down a little bit. The strings on this guitar are old and rusty. So it definitely needs new strings. But the top of this guitar is very, very strange, unusual. Um, the guy that uh, designed this guitar, uh, he says that it brings the it brings the top piece of wood to life. So the soundboard, it really, really activates that soundboard and puts lots of excitement and a lot of life in this top soundboard right there. That's my front door right there, that noise that you just heard. And the brand on this again is called a Babbitt's. And it says identity on the truss rod cover right here. Okay, so I've got the truss rod cover off and I've got the right Allen wrench and uh, it fits in there nice and snug and I'm just going to turn this uh, let's go about that far and then let's put our straight edge back on here and see how that's looking that has a little tiny bit of back bow right here now so I think I'm going to leave it there the strings are loose when you get a new set of strings on there, it'll sort of pull it back up this way. So I think I'm going to leave it right there until I get new strings on it. We'll leave this plate off for a while in case I need to make another adjustment to it. Okay. Okay, now I gotta pay attention here to see how that string laid in there. 
Okay, I see. Just kind of runs right on through there. Very simple. Okay. This shouldn't be bad. I know what's going on now. Sometimes it just takes a minute until you get the hang of what's going on with something. So I think part of the reason for this string design here is you know you see a lot of, of acoustic guitars where the bridge because of the string tension the bridge starts to lift up well there isn't any um, tension pulling this bridge forward all the tension is down on this one plus I see that you have little allen screws that are hooked all in here so this thing is bolted down in here so it's one of those designed guitars that you're never going to have to uh, take the bridge off and, and reattach the bridge. It's never going to happen. Unfortunately, it's got a couple little scratches in here. But uh, guys are always trying to come up with new innovations in the guitar world. And this was somebody's effort. And uh, I think it was a good idea. I think it was a cool idea. And having all these strings all like a spider web across here. It just looks really weird. And so if you're taking this guitar out and, and playing, playing shows with it, uh, you know, after the show, people would be coming up to you and instead of saying, hey man, I really love that last song you played, they're going to be coming up to you and they're going to be going, hey man, what's the deal with that guitar you have? So, you know, I don't know how many guys want to sit around and keep answering that question everywhere that they go. Sometimes uh, you want the focus to be on on the music that you make and not so much the gear that you're playing. All right, so our nut, it is loose. And it seems like it was cut pretty good. Little tiny bit bigger. When you put your finger and your thumb on each side, it's pretty close, but maybe just a little bit wide. But this area right here seems nice and smooth. And so I'm going to use just a little tiny bit of wood glue. And I don't want to use super glue because if there's ever a time where somebody wants to pull this nut off of here, don't use super glue because the rosewood will come with it. Okay, so we're just going to lay that down back down in there. Try to get some of the glue residue off of each side. There we go. And then again, with your finger and your thumb, just center it like that. And now I have to let that dry for a while. Well, one thing I can do while that's drying is with my 11 millimeter wrench, I can snug down these tuners. And they all feel nice and snug already. Okay. All right. So, Music Nomad F1 oil. Put a few dots of this on the fretboard. Petroleum and wax free. So, there's no petroleum in here. Thank you, Jetta, for that. She's a happy girl. I mean, poor Greta. She's such a sad girl, isn't she? She was so mad at Donald Trump when they 
when she met Donald Trump, she was mad. Okay, hold this in here while I can do this. Okay, there we go. I don't see any fretware on these frets. Down here in the car cowboy cords, maybe just a little bit right there under the B string. But I don't think this guitar was played very often. The guy that owned this guitar probably got tired of after his gigs, he, he probably got tired of answering questions about, well, hey, what's your weird guitar? Why are the strings like that? Answering questions about gear. So Jeff Babbitt's guitar, um, this is the ID-DCRW06 model, and the serial number starts with an 05, so I'm going to guess it's a 2005, a 2005, a 2005, but yeah, really cool and very unique bracing underneath here. It does have the electronics in it. Okay, this beautiful guitar is going to get a pack of Elixir 10 through 47 Nano Web 8020 bronze acoustic guitar strings. Great tone, long life, bright and focused and smooth. Boy, the way they describe stuff, huh? So we'll start here with our low E string. And let's see if this goes through here easily. Goes through there. Goes through there. And what I'm probably going to need, and I'll just use a little, I'll just use a little Allen wrench to lift that up. Right there, so it comes over. <laughs> then our A string is a 39 gauge. Can I say E string? A string. Okay. Try out to super fast forward through all this. And I'll just try to get the strings on quickly. Sort of fast forward mode.
Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you.